Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we will weave a jug, also called a pitcher, with a handle and a spout. You can place a glass jar in it and use it as a vase for the cut flowers. You can also use it for the artificial or dried flower arrangements. Pitchers can come in a variety of shapes. I will use two jars for weaving a pitcher of this shape. The larger, it's a 2 liter jar, and the smaller, 1 liter jar. Eventually, the smaller jar will stay in the pitcher, not permanently though. You will be able to take it out and put it back in. First, we have to calculate how many spokes we need. The circumference of the larger jar is 40 cm. The optimal distance between the spokes is 2 cm, which means I can use 20 spokes. The circumference of the smaller jar is 32 cm. If we divide 32 cm by 20 spokes, we get 1.6 cm, which is still an acceptable distance between the spokes, even for the double spokes, which will be the case in this picture. I will start weaving the base from 10 spokes and will double them to get 20 spokes. I showed how to start weaving such base in several other videos, that's why I will not be explaining in detail how to make it, but will still keep the video of the process. All the paper rods I use for starting the base are moisturized and cured. The links to the videos where I explain how to do it are in the description to this video. Bend 5 weavers in half, connect to other weavers butt to butt and weave the two rod twine. Start weaving around one spoke at a time. Elongate the weavers as needed. I wove 3 rows on the single spokes. It's time to add more spokes. I don't need the long spokes, that's why I will cut the paper rods in half at an acute angle. Make some room next to the spoke using the knitting needle, apply glue to the cut surface of the paper rod and insert it next to the spoke. Weave one row on the double spokes. Then weave around one spoke at a time. Weave as many rounds as needed to get the base of the same size as the bottom of the larger jar you are using. Attach the weave to the jar. I use the masking tape. Weave several more rounds of the two rod twine.
flip the gel over and continue weaving. After weaving several rounds so that the twine, place the plastic straws on the weavers to keep them wet. Trim the old spokes and replace them with the new double spokes. Add another weaver and weave one more round of the three rod twine. Press the spokes against the jar. When you need to elongate the weavers, cut them between the spokes. I have reached the first pair of spokes and need to step up to the next row. Take the rightmost weaver, place it in front of two pairs of spokes, behind the third one and out to the front. Repeat this step with the remaining weavers starting from the middle weaver. We will weave the main pattern of the picture using two weavers, which means we need to poke in and trim the extra weaver. Cut the masking tape and remove the jar. Now we are going to use the smaller jar. I put rice in the jar to make it heavier and also put a roll of the masking tape underneath the jar. Later in the video I will explain why. Trim the extra weaver a little bit to get it out of the way. We will trim it better a little bit later. Take the left weaver, wrap it around the pair of spokes twice, place it in front of the next pair of spokes, under the second weaver, behind the following pair of spokes and out to the front. Repeat this pattern up until you finish weaving the main part of the picture. When you need to elongate the weavers, make sure the connection is located behind the spokes. Step up to the next row and continue weaving. Make sure you keep the spokes straight so that they didn't lean either to the left or to the right. Here I am starting the second row. Press the weave down to make sure the height of each row is even. Also, gently press the spokes towards the jar. The spokes need to form the cone. The weave has to become more narrow with each roll. I have finished weaving the main pattern. Now I will weave one row with the regular 3 row twine and another row with the reverse 3 row twine. In order to do that, I add the third weaver. Step up to the next row in the manner you did it earlier when weaving the 3 row twine that is starting from the rightmost weaver. Place the plastic straws on the weavers, trim the spokes and replace them with the moisturized paper rods.
Place the plastic straws on the moisturized spokes to keep them wet. We will use the spokes for making the body. I removed a roll of the masking tape and placed the same jar directly into the woven picture. If I didn't place the jar on the roll of the masking tape or a similar object, the weave would have become too narrow and the jar would have to stay there permanently. I'd rather prefer to be able to take it out of the picture just in case I need to clean it. When weaving the reverse three rod twine, place the leftmost weaver under the two other weavers behind the third spoke and out to the front. When you need to elongate the weaver, cut it before the spoke it's supposed to go behind. The reverse three rod twine should be finished in a slightly different manner. Take the leftmost weaver and place it where it would usually go, that is under two weavers behind the third spoke and out to the front. Take the middle weaver, poke it under one already woven rod to the left of the next spoke and out to the front. Take the last weaver, poke it under two already woven rods to the left of the following spoke and out to the front. We will weave the next part of the picture with ordinary randing using just one weaver. It means we need to remove two extra weavers. Take the rightmost weaver and poke it under two rods. I show with the knitting needle where to place it. Repeat the same step with the middle weaver. Tighten everything up. Trim the weavers a little bit to get them out of the way. We will trim them more a little bit later. Now we need to mark two opposite spokes. One spoke is where the handle will be attached. Another spoke is where the spout will be formed. These two spokes should be symmetrical to each other. I have 20 spokes all together, which means there will be 9 spokes between two marked spokes on each side of the picture. Take the weaver, turn it around the spoke located to the left of the marked spoke and start weaving the ordinary ranting, that is place the weaver alternatively in front of and behind the spokes. When weaving the top part of the picture, slightly tilt the spokes away from the center, towards yourself. When you need to elongate the weavers, make sure the connection is located behind the spokes. When forming the spout, tilt the marked spoke even more than the rest of the spokes, not just away from the center, towards yourself, but also downwards. When you reach the spoke located to the right of the marked spoke, turn the weaver around it and continue weaving in the opposite direction. Stop short of the spoke you turned the weaver around in the previous row, turn the weaver around the spoke next to it and continue weaving. This pattern is called the shortened rows. Repeat this pattern up until you reach the desired height of the picture.
In one of the last rows, I make an extra wrap around the spoke forming the spout of the picture. I have six shortened rows on each side. Cut the weaver and poke it into the weave next to the spoke. Now we need to make a border. I will make a regular three row border. I explained how to make it in several other videos. That's why in this video I will not be explaining how to make it in detail, but will simply show the process. Remove the jar from the picture and trim the weavers. The next step is making a handle. I prepared four pairs of weavers, connected them and inserted the nylon fishing line into them. The diameter of the nylon fishing line is 1 mm. Insert the connected weavers, bend and twist them. Connect two weavers and use them for stitching the handle to the picture. Trim the weavers inside the picture and glue them. Wrap the handle at the top using a weaver. The picture is ready. As always, the last thing is priming it with the mixture of the acrylic varnish and water. The link to the video where I explain how to do it is at the top right corner of this screen. Thank you for watching this video.